Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have an insectoid set. Set 6919, the Planetary Prowler from 1998. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build. This set is right around 250 pieces and comes with two minifigures. And this is another set I got out of a bulk lot purchase. It's been several months ago now. I had a 30 pound bulk lot purchase that was pretty much all 90s Lego sets. Mostly 90s, went into around 2001 at the latest. And I have still been working on that. I've taken breaks and gone through other bulk lots and then come back and I just found this one recently. Who knows how many more sets are in there. It seems like they were really into space during this time because there were several UFO sets and a good portion of insectoid sets. And before I got this lot, I had no insectoid sets. And now I have a significant portion of the collection, which I'm really excited about. Um, I didn't get into Lego until the late 90s and I was a small child then, so, you know, not a lot of money, and I was interested in a variety of things, so I really didn't get a ton of Lego until really into the 2000s. So it's nice to be able to go back and get some of these older sets in kind of a lost time period for myself. So I'll show you the minifigures first. I think the Insectoids minifigures are so cool. I love these translucent head pieces they have and all of the different colored heads they have too. So really unique dark gray head. All these kind of circuitry patterns are really cool. I just think these are some of the most unique minifigures I've ever seen. And all of the space ones from this era were just truly amazing. And he's listed on Bricklink as being called Techno Leon. So kind of a cool name there. Another great minifigure absolutely love the translucent clear helmet. I think that's such a unique piece. And he's also listed as being called Gigabot. So really cool there. And he comes with the dark gray pieces as well before the color change, which is also really cool. The color scheme for the series is amazing. I love the use of all the blue and then translucent pieces together. The fact that all of these builds kind of look like different insects are really cool, so I get very definite grasshopper vibes from this one. And then using combination of like insect legs and wheels I think is really cool. These amazing translucent green dome pieces in the front for eyes. And then the antenna as well are amazing, which these are movable pieces on either side. So that's really cool. 
We've got a nice patterned piece in the front. All of these pieces are super affordable, so if you wanted to create your own mock using these type pieces, they're all really inexpensive, so definitely something to look into. On the side here, we've got some of the legs, which are super cool. And then these pieces also open up. And there's a little unit inside that comes out. And that is actually a sticker piece there. I really think that triangular piece is super cool. And then the sticker on top is actually magnetic. So the back of this device has a magnet underneath. So you can see that magnet there. So this little piece can be picked up using kind of, I guess, the tail of this device. So since that is a magnet, it does pick up these really cool magnetic sticker pieces. So I know people aren't usually super happy about stickers, but in the case that they are magnetic, I think that's really cool. Moving on down the device, we have some really great Technic spring-loaded pieces. And then in between, if you lift this up, it will release another little device. And I think this is really cute because, again, it looks like a little bug of some sort. This control center piece at the front was really popular during this era, and I really like that piece a lot. In that area, we've got another slope piece with a nice pattern to it. These are also some really great pieces as well, kind of unique antenna looking pieces. In the back we've got this patterned translucent green piece and that opens up and inside got this device which the purpose of this device I'm not super sure of but it is a really cool little detector of some sort and then you get another one of those magnetic triangular pieces. And, and just a better look at the back of the device as well. All really kind of cohesive coloring throughout this set, which is really nice. I like that it only used a handful of colors and that that made all of the sets from the series go together really well. So two awesome minifigures, around 250 pieces. This is a super quick build, but a ton of playability. And the insectoid sets are super affordable. This set was starting at $30 for a complete set on Bricklink in the United States. So if you're looking to buy sets from the series, at least in the U.S., they tend to be very inexpensive, probably somewhere around the original price, maybe a little more, but probably not by much. So if you're looking to collect a vintage space series and not break the bank, then I highly recommend this series because they're really cool and they're classic 90s and I just think they're some of the most unique sets LEGO has ever put out. So if you get the opportunity to get these sets or you're interested in, you know, some 90s space, then definitely check these sets out. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.